What's going on guys, Luke Gaming back here with another video, and today I'm going to be telling you 1 out of 10 how loyal my Belgian Mountain Law is, 10 is the best and 1 is the worst. Okay, so first of all, if you don't know what Belgian Mountain Laws are, they are kind of like German Shepherds and uh the police use them for canine units these uh, are pretty much the only dogs they use for canine units and they have a massive bite force they can hear really well and sniff things out really well and so this is a female belgian mountain law um and she just got inside and she's pretty tired she <laughs> she she's already about to sleep and so um she listens to my commands and um she um we're really good friends uh i spend probably the most time with her out of all the people in our family because when my parents are at work and my sister goes with them i'm usually spending time with her for about three hours a day and yeah, so she listens really well and she mostly stays out of trouble. She doesn't really do anything bad and she is uh, just honestly a really good dog. Now, when they're little, I bet in like the first five months, they you'll wish you've never gotten the dog i'm telling you right now they tend to um bite uh nibble on you chew stuff up so guys i actually moved upstairs because um my parents are downstairs getting ready for something and i didn't want to annoy my dog very much so anyways in the first five months they tend to bite nibble um some stuff like can be pretty bad actually like um she bit me on the bottom of the foot when i was running uh and she's about four months i think and it punctured my foot pretty hard and there's like just blood gushing everywhere out of my foot and it hurt pretty bad and um so i actually have a scar from when she bit me when she was about five-ish months in probably and um i don't know if you can see it very well uh right on my arm that little scar right there that'll probably be there forever um she bit me on the arm and her tooth uh like you know when like a dog like bites into like a ball or something they can't get off their teeth because like their teeth are stuck in it and you have to like pull it like off their teeth well her tooth got um the one of like her canines got actually stuck and she couldn't pull her mouth off of my arm and she was just ripping everywhere and uh it hurt pretty bad i didn't cry but it was it was pretty bad and um so they after about five months it gets steadier if you potty train them they're pretty good about that they stopped biting like seriously biting they've started just like nibbling if you're playing around with them um recently eve was playing around with my dad and like nibbling on him and stuff and she got her tooth stuck in his arm and i guess my dad jerked his arm away and it uh he had to get stitches and it like ripped his arm all the way across and yeah um honestly i don't think she meant to she they were just honestly rolling around on the floor and playing around but uh I'm telling you about the first, not even five months, about eight months. It's hard. Um, you have to really 
to be hard on the dog probably in like bad times when it's actually like messing up a lot and um so like police force the more i see they train it like they train the dogs everywhere and the part that they train their dogs that most people don't train their dogs in they they try to train in every part which everybody should but the one part they really get that like regular people that own belgian mountain laws don't get is they train them about their temptations so like for example they'll make the dog lay down okay and then they'll chunk a ball like as far as they can and that dog is so, probably tempted so bad right when they chunk the ball to just run in straight just go get it and um but it won't because they've trained it just to lay there and then they'll like say a command or something in dutch because a lot of people train their belgian mountain laws in dutch um i guess they just react to that better but i see more belgian mountain laws that are trained in dutch language than are trained in english language um but anyway the, and then they say something whatever they say as their command and then the dog just gets up and flies off so um honestly now she's about seven ish eight ish months into this and um she's gotten better she's gotten um just more all around trained better i try to work with her some like i'm not a dog trainer and I, i'm a okay with it like I can teach him some stuff but not like an average dog trainer can we let her uh we got our dog trainer and she stayed at the girl's house for about three days she came back better definitely better but not like you know like uh to the point where like she would do everything on like first command or like she mess up a lot and um so she, honestly belgian mountain laws they're probably on the upper class smart wise and feeling wise like if she does something wrong and like somebody yells at her like she'll like be down like sad like she knows she got in trouble and she'll like not do whatever somebody yelled at her about but temptation wise like what most people don't like get trained like the police force does temptations like that dog if she's tempted to do something like so much even though she knows it's not the good thing to do and we've told her not to do it she'll let the temptation take over like today she actually jumped like on the counter not like all fours but like got these two paws on the counter and started to like we had firehouse subs and she just ate everything up um and my mom got pretty mad at her for that and yeah she's been kind of down all day since that but she'll be fine tomorrow and so yeah that's pretty much the training part wise now bite force wise dude uh, her favorite thing to do is pop footballs basketballs like any ball that can be popped that has air in it soccer balls basketballs footballs like any ball that has air in it that's used for sports she, that's her favorite thing so and uh, mm, nba size basketball she right when she gets her mouth on it it's like that it's gone like she instantly just bites down on it and it pops like instantly as soon as it's like it pops before she even gets to it like right like when her snout's that close to the ball like as soon as she just gets her mouth on it it's like pops she just crushes it so her bite force is really hard um now in the first five months i would tell you not to run in the in front of the dog 
because when you run in front of a dog, it's like, yeah, I want to chase this person and, like, play with them. And so Belgian Mountain Laws are like, oh, yeah, like, I want to chase them and, like, tackle them because, like, that's my way of playing. And they're, like, rough. And so, like, it'll chase you and, like, jump on you and absolutely destroy you, start ripping you up and stuff. And it, like, thinks it's playing, but it's, like, bad. Yeah. And so, honestly, I would say if you have a Belgian Mountain Law, if you just got one, do not run in, like, in its line of sight because it will chase you down and start ripping you up and um uh they um Belgian Malinois are probably up like a regular dog's like right here they're probably about like smart wise like up here they're probably in the top class like they know what they're doing and um they learn pretty fast. Um, they know, like, if they're doing something wrong, they feel guilty for it. Um, really, my Belgian Mountain Law, I'm from about a 1 to 10 right now. It's probably, like, a 7 loyalty-wise. Um, she's a really good dog and uh I got well my family got her from a breeder that is um like really good with dogs and uh bred uh, uh she's actually half I think her mom's half German or her mom's German Shepherd and her dad's a Belgian Mountain Law and her dad was, I can't remember, like, what it's actually, like, the right way to pronounce it, but her dad was the highest breed of Belgian Malinois in some place, like, I think it was, like, in somewhere around London or the United, I don't know, somewhere around, like, Britain or something in the United Kingdom somewhere, so anyway, in the UK, so... I will show you uh, the uh, things that my dog knows about, like, uh, command-wise, and yeah, so, I'll be back in a second. She's a female, and yeah, these are pretty much the things she knows how to do. She's a really good dog. Uh, she likes to be pet a lot. She usually itches over there. <laughs> I don't know why. She likes it when you scratch over there. Alright, so. If. Sit. Lay down. Okay, and that's about one month of teaching. Um, if you can get her attention, she'll pretty much do anything you say. Um, so. If I want to, like, if check anything on her belly or anything, um, here. So, I usually get my finger. That's how I direct, like, sit, lay down. I pretty much direct everything with my hand so it's easier for the dog. All right, so now, look. She rolls, and so I can see anything on her belly. If I see anything, like, if she has infected or anything down here, I can usually see anything. Um, so, she's just pretty, I guess she's a little energized. She probably just had a good old nappy nap. And so, I'll have to set the camera in a different angle. But I'll show you how they pretty much play when they're half energized. So, I'll have to set my camera. She's pretty much half energized. So, see, she's already nibbling on my hand. And so that's how they pretty much start playing. You'll get down on your knees or something. See, the pretty much the way they play, so they're like trying to nibble. <laughs> you hit your head on that. <laughs> so 
I'll like get on the ground or something, and she'll kind of rub her head, lay down. See, she's just nibbling. She, uh, is honestly a good dog. She'll start settling down and pretty much just lay down and start sleeping while you're trying to play with her. Usually I play tug of war with a toy or something. Um, she's like, see, she'll lay down and she just likes you to stretch her her belly and face and yeah. See, the main thing is they just like start nibbling and um, they're pretty much easygoing dogs for the uh, remainder of their lives. But like, um, I'd say about the first seven-ish months, they are really hard to get used to. Um, they will rip any toy that you can buy from Pet Mart, Petco. They will eat any toy. It doesn't matter how hard. Oh, my mom's coming. My sister. Okay, bye, girl. She might not leave, but anyway. So she just, okay, yeah. I hear God downstairs, so anyway. Um, about the first seven months, um, it's hard to get used to. Uh, so, she honestly is a good dog. And... I'd say, like, yeah, I already rated it. I think I said, like, a 7 on loyalty. Um, so, yeah, right now. But I'll make another loyalty video in uh, probably a couple of years. When she has had time to be more, you know, trained and stuff like that. And so, uh... Um like subscribe and hit that notification bell and guys comment down below um if you have a belgian mountain law and it doesn't even have to be a belgian mountain comment down below what your dog is and rank it from one to ten on how loyal it is so yeah guys i want y'all to do that right now comment down below what type of a dog your dog is and rank it from one to ten how loyal it is and so yeah this will pretty much finish up my video once again like subscribe and hit that notification bell if i start making money off youtube i can do a lot more things so yeah um have a good day and oh peace